Hey there, folks. This is the Cleric Returns, returning to you for the first time in a very long time uh, with an episode of Subnautica, because they just went live with version 1. Point whatever, so it's actually out of beta or whatever. You can see that I played a few games previously, some of them for quite a long time, two days and 23 hours worth. I just need to play another 10 minutes or so and we'll hit three days, so maybe I'll do that another time. But we'll take a tour eventually down the road, but <clears throat> I just wanted to experience together the start of a brand new game. And uh, previously I did, sur er, fr sorry, Freedom. I did Freedom and then I did a quick survival game to see what it was like. It's definitely more challenging, so we'll go with that this time around. Hopefully the loading screen doesn't take too terribly long. Uh, but this is a absolutely fun blast of a game. Insert other positive uh, descriptive adjectives right there yep so how's it going guys it's good good yeah this loading screen's pretty cool huh yeah I like the fire usually takes about a minute or so maybe I'll cut this out we'll see probably leave it in um, so yeah to catch up I guess while we're hanging out here uh, I don't remember the last time I posted a video Oh, I, I did some Stardew Valley for a little bit. Uh, I definitely played a lot off camera and got bored. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, press press any button. Attention. Ooh. This is a new beginning. I like it. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit different. Here we go. Escape pod away. I love that site. So cool. And then... Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, that's gonna hit us in the face. Oh! Owie. Love it. Okay, we are ready. Are we awake? Hello. Oh, there's fire. Oh, there's fire. Um... Great. Okay, let's see. It's been a couple months since I played, so hopefully I can remember how to do things. Yeah, okay. Thanks for the tips. Is that it? Is that it? Okay. We're safe. Sweet. Ah, the PDA with infinite storage of physical items. some nice graphical updates on this. I'm using the filmic mode tinting. Oh, you have suffered a minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal something. This PDA is now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive in an alien world. Ooh, look at these new graphics. Oh, it is reading them for me. Okay, great. Press tab to close the PDA. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, good. It's got some more like, walkthrough. Okay. Use a repair tool. Little fabricator. Oh, some ah, beautiful new icons. They really did a great job. There's some storage in here. Flares. Ooh, definitely going to take at least one of each of those. And the med kit. Right. Okay, cool. Uh, there's no lights on in here, which I thought... It was brighter previously, but I guess not. Um, yeah, everything is failing. Okay, so we can go there. Let's let's head up to the top. <laughs> what is that thing? Little alien bird. The Aurora oh. suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Zero human life signs detected. Great. What's that over there? I think that's part of the reef. Nice. I love this game. It is just beautiful. Man, the graphics updates that they did for the for the final launch are amazing. Um, so yeah, so I played for a bit, and uh, oh, that's what I was saying. Was uh, I'm using the filmic mode graphics for the color grading? There's also a neutral 
and off, but filmic just kind of adds like a nice little touch. Uh, and I don't like there's uh what's the one, not this one. Oh, the motion blur. Yeah. That really bothered me a lot. So oops. Oh, I do not want to quit. Um, back to game. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the motion blur just really gets to me. So I turn that way down. This seems much more smooth and less distracting. Uh, maybe it's cause I got a, like a four year old video card, but, uh, let's go for a swim. Oh, <laughs> I love that. All right, here we are. Let's check it. Oh yeah, we got our little floating rocks here. That's great. And we can, oh, they, I think I have to remember to catch fish. Yeah. Uh, oh. May have unexpected applications. Yes. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Yes. Let's get those out of there. Um, okay, gotta watch my air. Gotta remember to watch my air. Oxygen. Oxygen. Okay. And uh, let's just explore for a minute and we'll chat, I guess. I'll pick up some some stuff on the way. I don't remember exactly. Oh. Break limes? Ah. Power is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. <laughs> unlikely, but plausible. I will take what I can get. <laughs> Alright, back down. Um, yeah, 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 let's see. So I don't remember exactly what to do in the game too much. I, I know I need those, plus copper makes batteries. And I know that the metal salvage is what you use to make pretty much everything. And those guys over there spit out these little poisonous shenanigans. Hey, bud. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, look at those. And they explode. And I avoid them so I don't die. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gotta get used to not having an oxygen tank. Oh, there's more. I hope I don't hit him. Oh, oh, I got it. Okay, I'm okay. Have that med pack on me. Oh look, health recharges slowly. That's nice. Uh, let's go inside, and I think I got enough to make maybe the knife or something. Uh, so here we have our fabricator. We can see that we've got several tools. Oh, the air bladder. Very nice. Um, oh, I need silicone rubber, so I need to go find the reef for that. Oh, and I can cook the fish. Yeah, I have to remember to eat. Oh, I should eat right now. Uh, yeah, that yellow orange there tells me how much food or, or my, what's it, hunger level or whatever. Yeah, I gotta monitor that. Uh, very different from the the non survival. What was that other mode called? I forget. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, and I can make a battery right away. I don't need to, though. So I'll wait. Equipment. Oh, air pipes, right? Oh, good, I can make an O2 tank. Oh, that's gonna help a lot. Be much less annoying. Mm. Do I have to... How do I do the high capacity? Do I have to exit and go back in? Aha! Okay, so I need glass and silver to make that one. Cool. And then, ooh, deployables. Oh, the lockers are just basically useless. I mean, by the time you get enough stuff to make a locker, you can pretty much make the, what is it called? Um, not the scanner. This one, the habitat builder anyway. Like all that stuff's pretty readily available, so you might as well just skip the lockers. Um, so I got my O2 tank installed already. Good, good. And let's, okay, let's let's be a little bit purposeful. Let's figure out what we're gonna do next. First, I'm gonna cook some food so that I can eat it and not die. And then we will look at um, getting some silicone rubber. And then the flashlight's very helpful, so battery, which we know we can make already. And some glass, so we'll have to get some quartz or whatever they call it now. 
and the scanner requires another battery. That should be fine. So we'll have to keep our eye out for some limestone to get some more copper. And yeah, okay. Let's just go and gather some resources for a bit. We'll head out the bottom here. Ooh. I love these guys. Hello. Oh man, they look so good in this new update. What can I eat underwater? Yes, eating underwater for the win. Um, oh yeah, we need to head over to the kelp forest here. Get ourselves some of the little... What are they called? Fruit? The fruit things? Oh, we got some air sources here. Let's go get some air. Gotta keep an eye out for the... Strike? What are they called? Here, let's get some... Get a little hover fish. Those, these guys are great to eat. Discovered. New fish discovered. Great. Here. Oh, that's that's an egg. That guy. What's that guy called? I don't recall. I don't recall what it's called. Creep vine seed clusters. Give me as many of those as I can get. Inventory full. Okay. And heading back. Oh, I love how much air we have now. I can swim forever. Gotta get the fins though, so I can get some real momentum going underwater. Take another egg. All oh, right, my inventory is full. Maybe I have enough for another fish. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I'm gonna hear that a lot. Yes, I can grab one more fish on the way. Come here, peeper, 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 peeper. Uh, yes. Air, 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 air. Oxygen. Going. And air. Sweet. In we go. All right. Uh, so I think. <laughs> you know, I said, "Hey, let's be purposeful," and I totally forgot my purpose. But let's let's eat some peepers since we're still pretty hungry. Uh -huh. While disposing of the skeletal structure, mm. bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Cool. Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meats with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Good to know. Lubricant. There's my little blade. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Well, yeah, you gotta use the knife for, like, everything else. Okay, so we've got copper, silicone rubber. We got our survival knife. Great. Uh, and then let's make... Okay, we got one copper, so let's make a battery right away and pick a tool power cell blueprint gotta love it let's do the scanner strikers is that what those shark things are called the scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology cave sulfur alien biological data let me just dump a bunch of this in here and oh it's full okay Let's go look for some cave sulfur. Levels. Oh, increased radiation Trek levels. Is consistent with damage and I can't to the see anything. Well, let's maybe scan some stuff. Oh, right click to scan. Acid mushroom. I'm on acid, bro. Writhing weed. I forgot you can take samples of things with the knife as well. Right? There we go. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I, this is so difficult. I apologize for how dark this is. Uh, I should have made, should have made the flashlight. Let's go look and see what we need for the flashlight. I cannot remember. Uh, oh, we'll take another med kit. Flashlight requires another battery, so we just need more copper and some glass. Okay, I know the glass, the, the quartz, we can see that at night. Kind of. 
Let's go browse. I wish you could, like, sprint underwater. I know that's kind of silly, because you can't in real life, but, you know, I wish there was a way to do a little burst of energy. Uh, do you see any quartz anywhere? I don't see any quartz anywhere. Oh, those guys look really, really frightening in the dark. Let's just, let's just swim this way. Swim this way. Where is all the quartz? All right, scan the brain coral. Bloop. Let me scan ourselves a peeper. Got him. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Swim away, swim away. No, oh, he got me. Just a bit. Um, those, they are exploding fish. I don't remember, remember what they're called call what they're called. But they're in caves usually, which means I'm near a cave. Ooh, some table coral. We need those for micro chips. So let me cut some off. Come on. And oh my gosh, it is impossible to see in the dark. Whoa. Okay. Get some air. Where's all the quartz? It used to glow blue. It's like a blue glowy crystal. Is it a little bit? I'm probably following a fish, aren't I? I gotta make sure I don't... Yeah, that's a fish. Oh my gosh. This game is so hard to play now. This filmic shenanigans. Right, so... Cool. I guess I'll hunt some fish in the dark. Thanks, peeper. Peeper, 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 peeper. Come here, come here. Oh, no, 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 get it. Get it, get it. Go. Oh. I know, this is riveting, isn't it? I love, I love how incredibly riveting this, this moment is in the dark. Oh, looks like we got sun up. Yes. We'll be able to see soon. All right. Um, let's look for some more copper. Ooh, cave. And, oh, this must have been the one that we hit earlier. We got cave sulfur. Swim away, swim away, swim away, swim away, swim away. We made it. No damage. Success. All right. Love that. Love the sky. The sky is just so cool. All right, let me eat. Consume both of those guys and drink some of that water. Got some peepers. I got the cave sulfur, which we know that we needed. But let's try and find another copper. Coppery copper. So that we can make a battery. So that we can make a flashlight. Oh, we need quartz, right? Where's the where's all the quartz, man? I think uh, that's one of the drawbacks of this game is how much you have to just look around for stuff without having like a specific spot for it. Usually it's not too bad. Let me do a little quick scan on this guy. What do we got? Oh, the sea glide. That is very helpful. Oh good, it's only only two. I gotta get, just find one more of those. And we will be set up with our sea glide. We can actually swim pretty quick. Where's all the quartz, man? Did they move it out of the start area? That would be silly, but quite believable. To make the game a little more challenging. Alright, and <clears throat> stalker. That's what it's called. It's called a stalker. Let's go scan it. Whoop! Yep. And I'm trying to stay away so I don't die. Oh, sweet. They left me alone. There's some salt here. I will take that so I can get some nice preservatives. Some preserved fish. Yes. What do we got? Ooh, a mobile vehicle 30 bay. Seconds. 30 seconds. I see a thing. Cut creep vine with knife. Oh, and there's a... 
limestone? Sandstone? Something down there? We'll have to get that. Alright, and down we go. Oh my goodness. Really need those fins and the sea glide. We'll be good. Oh, hey, buddy. I feel like they made them slightly less aggressive. They used to be a lot more aggressive. Nothing there but titanium. Titanium? Look at titanium. There's a copper. Oh, and we got another mobile vehicle bay fragment. Oh my goodness. Nope, 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 nope. Leave me alone. Ooh, a scanner room fragment. Interesting. Looks like they redistributed a lot. Integrating new PDA data. Sweet. That is all salt, I think. There's some wreckage there. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biome diversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Oh, cave networks. Cool. Ooh, the grav ball. The grav ball's pretty sweet. I don't think I use it as much as I would like, but it's a really cool idea. Hey, what? What happened? It just... it didn't do anything. Oh, grav trap. We're calling it a grav trap. Sweet! Got me a grav trap. Is that a Gary fish? I thought I saw a Gary fish. There's a Gary fish! Gary, 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 Oh, you can. There's like a lot more stuff that you can scan early on. And let's go get some air. And we got we got enough stuff. We can head back. Let's pay attention to generally what direction this is. We are Aurora's on the right, so we'll put it on the left, and we can head back there and scan that wreckage again. Uh, it definitely helps to get a compass, which we will do later on. Um, yeah, yeah, so this is, oh gosh, let's stay on the surface. So this is Subnautica, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Uh, I will definitely be playing a series where I go through all the storylines, and I heard that they added an actual ending, uh, where you can finally leave the planet, uh, which we'll get to in many, many, many hours, uh, probably, um, like, 24 hours worth, maybe 48 Maybe 48 hours. This is a good game. Um, yeah, I think we'll probably wrap up the first episode here. We'll make some stuff, and uh, we'll go back and explore those ruins some more. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Where'd that bladderfish go? Anyway, uh, the bladderfish are helpful because you can use them to filter water so that you have water to drink. Very important. Uh, let me get a few more fish for Fish, 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 fish. Need that grab trap is what needs to happen. There we go. New creature discovered. Okay, yeah, so we'll call it here. Thanks guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode. Have yourselves a good day.